Okay, so I just wanted to make this quick video. Um, I'm, I'll post a link to my original video that I did, but I just had this um, um, download. It's like a very small download, and it's crazy because after I got the download, I seen 111. So, actually, I had seen 111 like three times today. So, but the fact that I had my download and I seen 111 right after that is crazy. Um, so I did this video a while back. It's a philosophy video. I'll link it. And basically I was saying how life is like a video game. And I just wanted to expand on that a little bit. Um, now basically in the video, if you just want to, you know, long story short. But if you want to watch it, I'll link it. But long story short, I'm saying that life is like a video game. Because you have this big old journey. You got to get to the end of the game. And then... You know, you have a goal at the end, and you, you come across people that get, that get in your way, mini bosses, the big boss at the end. Um, you have people who come along with you on the journey because their, their paths are similar or the same. And you have people who just are there to give you tips, but they're not supposed to join you in that journey because their journey is way different from yours. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I was saying. But um, I want to expand on it. So you know how like in games like Mario and Sonic, you have lives. You're given a certain amount of lives, a certain amount of chances, right? And if you lose all your lives, you got to start over. What if reincarnation is like that? Because the thing with being reincarnated, you can only come back so many times. And when you come back, it's going to get harder. And as you lose lives, it seems like the game get harder because it's like you only got so many lives left. You know, you lose them all, you lose them all, and you got to start over. So what if it's like that? What if you have to start all the way over? You couldn't pick up where you left off. It's just a thought. But I think me getting that download it's just important especially right now with a lot that's going on things are being um exposed and and and, and people are wake, waking up and being enlightened and some are not they're getting left behind we need to just make sure we stay on the right path everything that's really going on right now is a distraction everything you know i'm not saying we shouldn't worry about the virus and there's something supposed to happen march 4th I don't know what's supposed to happen, but, um, sorry, I'm just checking my phone. Um, I don't know what's supposed to happen March 4th, but we definitely need to be aware of it. Um, also, I'm not saying that we shouldn't worry about, well, we shouldn't pay attention. We need to pay attention and know what's going on, but we shouldn't let that stop us from achieving what we were supposed to achieve. And I feel like so many people are so caught up in the wrong stuff. Like this whole gorilla spray situation that I'm not doing a video about because I honestly can care less. I'm not about to give attention to dumb stuff. And another thing that people are paying attention to, the fact that the baby left Danny Lay. And my thing is, do I like Danny Lay? No. She cannot sing, in my opinion. N-O. No. I can't cancel her if I never put her on in my life. So, that's just that. She she made a dumbass decision putting that song out. Um, it doesn't really matter if you know if people say oh she's colorist or she's not black. She's not black, so technically she's racist. She's not even colorist. She's racist. But it was ignorant either way, and we already know who the song was about. Okay, I am not about to sit here and clown her and, and mock her. And, 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 and make fun of her and celebrate the fact that the baby left her. I'm not going to do that. Why would I want to celebrate somebody else's loss? I, if, if I did that or if you did that, you're no better than her. Because that's basically what she was doing to Mimi. You're no better than her. What are you doing? First of all, we are, I already feel like this. This is what I feel. I'm not saying it's true. Because I don't know them personally. The baby, she getting a lot of heat right now. That's bad for the baby's image. He had Capricorn. Capricorns are all about their image and money. 
So, if you make him look bad, and, and the thing is, Capricorns are discreet. So really, she should not put that song out either way. If he called her a yellow bone, that's something she should have just kept to herself, okay? So that's number one, okay? She messing with his brand. And you can't do that to a Capricorn. Number two, we already know that he's still messing with Mimi. We already know. This is something that he always does. And then my thing is when you have... Now, it's one thing if you have a child and a child is, like, old enough. You get what I mean? Like, there's a difference between dating a man with a baby and a toddler and dating a man with a kid, like a child who's old enough, okay? Like, an adolescent, a teen, whatever, okay, who's older, all right? If you're dating a man who has a toddler or a baby... You know he's still messing with the child's mother. He's still not over her and she's still not over him. That's why if I date someone with, with, with children, I need to know how old the kids are. Because if the kids are old enough, like they're like 7, 8, 9, 10, unless they're just a messy ass person, chances are they're not even messing with the, with the other parent. The other parent probably even moved on and got married. You see what I'm saying? But if you mess with someone who got who for sure has a child or a baby, you already know they're still ain't they still are messing with the with the the other parent. Okay? You already know. Now I'm not gonna say Danny Lay should have known better, but Danny Lay should have known better. Okay? I don't like when people say that. I'm not gonna say this, but then they end up saying it anyway. I don't like when people say that. But it's the truth. But I'm not going to sit here and celebrate that the baby left her. Because that's, that's, that's adding fuel to the fire. I hope that she learned her lesson. That's all I can say. I hope that she learned. Do I, do I still like her? No. Like I said, she cannot sing. Sorry. She cannot sing. But I hope that she learns her lesson. I really hope that she does. You know. Um. But it's all a distraction. Chloe Bailey. Now, I feel like that topic... Like, colorism, sexism, those topics need to be addressed. They need to be addressed. But as far as, like, putting so much attention to just the person. Come on, y'all. Y'all missing the bigger picture. I think we really need to be talking about Hope Danny learned her lesson. Not just because of the fact that she shouldn't have dogged out another... Well, yeah. Not just for putting the song out, but how you get how you get the guys, how you lose them. How you get the guys, how you lose them. You with the side chick. And now he's sitting here trying to get with India Love. And India Love ain't, probably, probably ain't going to pay him no mind. And if she do, she just in it for a fling and that's it. You know, in, India Love, she... I don't know her personally either, but, you know, she kind of just, you know, she, she, and she should, she at that age, she kind of just, you know, have a fun. She's not really dating too seriously, you know, so that's what that will be. And then he'll go right back to Danny Lay and she, I hope she don't take him back. I hope Mimi don't take him back. But I hope that she learned her lesson. Don't put out, don't put out songs like that. It's nothing wrong with... With loving your skin tone because that's part of loving yourself. But you don't need to put down other people to bring yourself up. Two, how you get them is how you lose them. And that's just what that is. But there is a lot that's going on, even in our own homes, even in our own neighborhoods. That tiny and, and, and Toya situation, there's a lot going on. Sex trafficking, because that's basically what that is. A lot is going on. But I feel like y'all are not seeing the bigger picture. And I'm not, if, 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 this, if you are like me and you're just trying to, like, it's got to be a motive going on. It has to be something going on. These people are getting exposed. It's, it's not even a shock to me anymore because we are living in a time of exposure. We are in this new Jupiter energy and Sagittarius is, is, is ruled by Jupiter. And if you know a Sagittarius, Sagittarius is all about honesty and philosophy. So, 
I'm not saying Sagittarius don't lie, but Sagittarius are too bold to lie. And it's like if they lie, they bad at it. It's like they lying, but you know that they're lying because they're so bold. They, they it's like it's like the truth is right on their forehead. It's right on their face. Okay. Sagittarius are bad at lying unless they got some type of Scorpio or Gemini or Pisces in their chart. Other than that, they're bad liars, okay? Um and that's what this energy is. It's just like it's either it's like they trying to hide the truth, but the truth is right there, or they're not even trying to hide it no more, or they can't hide it anymore because they're being exposed. We are living in a time of karma as well. People gotta pay up. America gotta pay up. For real, for real. People gotta pay up. And if you don't pay up, somebody gotta pay. Something gotta give. So I'm just gonna leave it at that. Um who the hell is Kevin Samuels? Who the hell is that nigga? That fake ass Steve Harvey motherfucker. Anyway, uh, <laughs> but um yeah, people are being exposed, man. Um but that's it, you know. So make sure y'all subscribe and comment. Depending on how long this video is, I may actually post this on Instagram as well. Um and I'll see you guys when I see you guys. Bye.